Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back to kick off round two for group B. And we're not going to dilly dally, we're going to look at our fight card for this session. So feast your eyes on this. At first we have got Varga taking a crack at Storm. Then we have Khalid going up against the champ Maastrician. Then we will see Mulberry v Echo Fury. And tonight's theme of the main event is Vengeance. Not for me, but for Carnotaurus man. Yes, it is a rematch from last year's last 32 round between our host, Stranger Gamer, and Carnotaurus Man. But that will be our last match of this session. At first, we have got Varga against Storm. Ooh, we're in the volcano field again. Right, in the red corner for Varga, we've got Torvasaurus. Varga will have terrain advantage. Actually, now, what's interesting here is that both of our guys have fire dinosaurs in first. That with... Because of that, there will be no terrain advantage. So they both cancel each other out. Right, coming in next for Storm in the blue corner, we got Rajasaurus, Super Rajasaurus, Awaker Mode on 3. Now Storm put in a very good display against the champ in the first round. You know, a little bit unlucky with the terrain advantage advantage that Maastrician had. Okay, so because these two are fire types, these both terrain advantages cancel each other out, so the moves will be generated like normal. If the uh, random num number generator decides to work, hang on, I better pause it. Six and five, so Torvosaurus will get the first hit anyway. And it's going to be a big one. Oh, <laughs> I should really close the Excel and the Word document I go open in the background. <laughs> right, that's one. Ooh, but Storm answers back with a hit of his own. That's twice. Now, we didn't see too much of this Rajasaurus in the main event. But it is, it is getting hit, and it's going to be a wait, wait time. Elementor, Fusion. Right, it is awakening time. And he gets the hit, and it's going to be a big magma blaster. Yes, I'm counting in my head how many times I'm going to get interrupted while recording today. So that's once. Right? Okay, coming in next for Varga, we got a Joboria. That was a good hit from Storm there, giving him an early lead. But... You know, this Jilbari will have taken advantage over the Raj, so I, it'll be very difficult to extend that lead. And yeah, there it is. <laughs> Not much of a lead. Big crit from the Jilbari, and down goes Rajasaurus. Okie dokie, coming in for Storm Second Dino, we got Super Carnotaurus. Now we did see glimpse. We did see what this guy could do in the in the first round against Master Isha. Ooh, that's a tie. Two. This is this is a very tight match, you have to say. But it is Varga getting the next hit and retaking the lead. Right, that's once. Ooh, but that's gonna be no it's not! There's the dino stuffer. Gonna put a stop to that crit. That could be crucial, because that was a hurricane beat. That would have done a lot of damage to Joe Borea, but the Dino Stuffer put a stop to it. Ooh, how crucial could that be come this match's endgame? Another tie. Another tie. Wow, this Joe Borea's risking it with the crit, yeah. Boosh! Oh, come on. Oh, wake mode! Almost forgot. <laughs> well, a big hit here from the Carno can get Storm in the lead. 
and he gets the hit and this hurricane beat is gonna put Storm 2-1 up. Oh, that's a massive hit this could be. I mean, I think even without the Awaken mode, I think that would have been... Wow, yeah. That would have been lethal anyway. Well, Varga's no stranger to coming from behind in matches. They came from behind to win their first match. Right, and this was the dinosaur that did it. It was Armatus, Spectral Armor. And actually, what's interesting is that both our teams have a uh, Spectral Armor dinosaur in third. Like, honestly, this could have been the main event. This really could have been the main event. I really wish it was. <laughs> Oh, Kano gets the next hit. Is Storm going to turn the screw? Oh, nope, nope. There goes the uh, Carnotaurus. And yet again, we are level packing. And my voice is going. <laughs> this voice box is not built for marathons, okay? Right, coming in food for Storm, we've got Maximus. Now, it didn't really get going, mainly because of the terrain advantage that Maastrician had. And it will have tight disadvantage against Armatus, so I do feel like Varga does have the upper hand here. It's the tie. High. Ooh, Maximus getting the next hit. Storm extending his slight lead. It's not going to be much of a hit, though. Slippy, slippy, slap, slap. Oh, this could be interesting. Because both armor bars are the, at the exact same point, so we could see double spectral armor. I hope we do, actually. Ooh, we might not. This might be lethal. I... I think the type of advantage might spear arm at this. Yeah, oh wow. Not as much damage as I thought it was, but it does add up to one thing. Varga is in a bit of a pickle. Oh, hang on. Okay, it's electric charge. I thought it was lightning axe for a second then. <laughs> Needs this crit. Doesn't get it. It's Storm's victory. Maximus storming Storm to victory and the spectral armor. We didn't see it, unfortunately. But it is a good win for Storm there, bouncing back after the first round defeat at the hands of Maastrician. As for Varga, well, it was a back and forth contest, really, but you probably would say Storm did get the big hits when he needed it. And that was probably the difference. Okie dokie, on to our next match. Right then, in the red corner, representing Khalid. We have got a Shantungasaurus, and if you are Khalid, you're relatively happy with this field, because that means this Shant is going to have terrain advantage. And I think Khalid needs every advantage possible if he is going to upset the champion. Right, in the blue corner, representing Maastrician, we have got Eocarcaria, Omega Armor. Yeah, you Maastrician got off to a winning start against Storm in the main event, although it was close. I will say that. And you saw me generate the thingy. Storm could have got the hit, which could have got the Spectral Punisher off, which could have won it for him. So, I'm sure Maastrician will look for a bit more of a convincing win this time. But they'll have to deal with terrain advantage first. Khalid getting the hit on the board. Getting the tech boost going, and the defense boost going. A solid start from Khalid. That's a tie. With Khalid's team, it's all about the crests. Okay, there's our first strike of the match from the champ. A light recovery and a tappy jar of dive to come. Gonna wipe out that terrain advantage damage. Okay, half of it. <laughs> okay, it's a tie. Yeah. 
Ooh, but Khalid does get the next hit. That'll max up the defense boost and the tech boost. Maastrician has the slight lead, but I have to say, this is a good start from Khalid. And it's going to make this Shant really hard to kill. Ooh, Maastrician gets the crit, though. That's going to be it for Light Recovery. The Tappy Jara dive coming in again. Boosh. Light Recovery really helped in Maastrician here. Khalid really needs to get a crit to land some serious damage on this Eocark area. Oh, come on, random number generator. Are you doing this again? Hang on, I'll pause it just to be on the safe side. Round and round it goes. What number will it generate? It's a free. Ooh, so Shant is going to get the next hit. Oh, no, it's not. It's a tag team. <laughs> Always forget tag team. Always catching me by surprise, even though I know everyone with these moves. But that could be a... Not much of a tag team there. Just insult to injury, to be honest. That's a tie. Oh, the bar's gonna fill up. Oh my god. Really? High recovery as well. Okay, there's another hit. But Khalid's just not doing enough damage. Needs a crit. Ah, here we go. And gets the crit. Now this is gonna do damage. Big atomic bomb on the Eocark area's back. Oh, look at that! Massive hit by Shannon. Ooh, but it is Maastrician taking that 1-0 lead. And, to make matters worse for Khalid, it will be Omega Armor time. Pivotal moment in the match, this. Because if Maastrician gets the next hit, he's going to go 2-0 up. And then Khalid's going to be in big, big trouble. But if Khalid can survive the Omega armor, they're right in this contest. Again, Tajongasaurus, all about the crypt. Right, I better get the code ready. Right, here we go. Big moment of the match. This could be massive moment. That's not what Khalid wants. This is going to be a massive hit from Maastrician and this is going to put him 2-0 up. Oh, it's a disaster for Khalid. Oh, no. I'll be amazed if Tajongasaurus survives this. I don't think he's going to. Oh, there's the uh, emulate the lag. <laughs> oh, that's cost. How costly could that be? Yeah, I didn't think it'd survive. Right, um, coming in for Khalid's third dino, we got Amargosaurus. I should point out that Maastrician's second dino is a Blitz type and it is Spinosaurus. So, when and if that comes in, it will get two. It will go for two crits. I mean, it won't, it's not guaranteed to get those two crits, but it will go for them. Oh, that's not that's the worst case scenario for Khalid there. Damaging hit. Okay, there's a tie. I think that's gonna be it for uh, Eocark area, but the damage I fear has been done already. Right, coming in next from Astrician, we got a Spinosaurus Blitz type. This has been a very surgical display from the champ so far. Slowly wearing down the shant, building up the armor bar. Using the resilience of the Shant against Khalid, in all honesty. To get that Omega Phoenix off and go 2 0 up. Well, they're 2 1 up because the Eokar carried his dog. Right, this Spino is Blitz type, so it will go for two rocks. Ooh, well, Khalid stopped that one. Now remember, the Margosaurus has massive crit, so Khalid is not out of this yet. If he can survive these two Blitz crits, 
is well in contention. Right, crit number two. Oh, I didn't get that one, though. Spino gets the big crit. Oh, it's a power drain. Better get ready. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Sucking the life out of a Margosaurus. Massive hit by Maastricia. And now our champ is well on top. Can they get the bonus point? I think they're going to. Well, Tech Boost activated once. There's a good chance of Aqua Javelin yet. No! But look at this! A tile will do it for the champ! And yeah, there it is. That Omega Phoenix proved costly. Massive, massive moment. And it is Maastrician's bonus point victory. Yeah, definitely. The Omega Phoenix won it. 100%. Because Khalid was in it. I think... Actually, I think they may have got more hits than Maastrician did. But then Maastrician turned the screw with the Omega Phoenix and won. That's the power of armoured dinosaurs, folks. Right, on to our third match. Righty ho then, in the red corner, representing Mulberry, we got Papasaurus. Mulberry suffered a come from behind defeat against Varga in the debut. But we look to bounce back here. Uh, we are on the arid field, which favours earth types. Right, in the blue corner, we have got Alice Alpha Allosaurus for Echo Fury. Echo Fury enjoyed a come from behind victory against Carnotaurus Man in the first round. Although, I will say Spinotector pretty much did the whole comeback on his own. <laughs> That's why they call it a comeback. So we haven't really seen what this aloe can do. Well, the only thing it seems to be doing so far is getting hit. Ooh, there's a, there's a shot. An Alpha ACT rocket. So, contrasting fortunes for these two debutants in the first round. Okay, will it come down yet? No. Interesting. Curious. Okay, that's a tie. I think we'll see it any minute. And there it is. It's going to do big damage to the Papasaurus. Ooh, oh, there's going to be another one. <laughs> another ACT rocket going into orbit. This is a steady start from Echo Fury. Now, they had a very bad start against Carnotaurus Man in the first round, so this is much more like it from them. Ooh, but the secret moves have been triggered. And the secret moves. They do a lot of damage. This Papasaurus is willpower type, so it does get stronger after a tie. But look at that. It needs a hit here. And he gets the hit. A big secret move from the Papasaurus. And I think, with the willpower attack buff that it gets, might be lethal for Allosaurus here. Survey says, yes it is. Right, coming in next for Echo Fury's second dino, we got Super Despletosaurus, but it is Mulberry in the lead. Awaken mode on three, but again, I don't think we saw this guy do too much. I think he got one shot by the firebomb, didn't it? If I remember correctly. Okay, that's a tie, and that'll be all she wrote for Papasaurus. Right, coming in next for... I forgot your name, sorry. I've gone, I've gone completely blank. Mulberry, that's it. <laughs> I've gone completely blank. Right, coming in for Mulberry, we got Alpha Gasmosaurus. Um, we didn't see too much of this guy. Oop, that's a tie. Ooh, that's a hit from the Chasmosaurus. It's a banana surprise. Will the move removal take that effect take place here? No, it doesn't. Okay, that's one. 
Oh, there's a Magma Blaster. It's going to do a decent amount of damage there. Magma Blaster getting triggered after that loss for the Displetosaurus. Mulberry. Echo Fury striking back. That's twice. Quite an even contest so far, I have to say. But the Despletosaurus does have the Awaken mode. It's a tie. Ooh, and gets the next hit. And that's going to put Echo Fury in the lead. If that burning dash is going to be curtains for Chasmosaurus. An age-old rivalry, these two. And it is Despletosaurus coming out on top. Right, coming in next for Mulberry, we've got Carnotaurus. I remember DNA this time. Now, do not get hit by that Hurricane Beat. That Hurricane Beat can do a severe amount of damage. This Carnotaurus hits super, super hard. But it does have tight disadvantage to deal with here, so Mulberry needs to kill this Displetosaurus quick. Okay, there's a hit. And that will be all she wrote for Displetosaurus. And we are yet again level packing. Right. Coming in next for Echo Fury. We have got the Spinotecta. The Spinotecta was respon primarily responsible for Echo Fury's win over Carnotaurus Man in the last round. An interesting turn of events. We are level pecking, but the Dino Tector is a factor. Ooh, as is the crit from the Spino. Getting the first shot of the match there. Well, this match anyway. But the Hurricane Beat has been triggered. Carnotaurus striking back straight away. And wow, this is back and forth. It's neither side is given an inch another tie. Oh, that's going to be a big hit from the Spino. Another crit. Can Carnotaurus respond? Oh, he's going for it. Ooh, doesn't get it. The bar's going to fill up. Is it going to be two wins from two for Echo Fury? That's another tie, but... That's Ocean Panic, and that's going to be game over for Mulberry and it's Echo Fury's victory. Two out of two so far for the newcomer. But that Spinal Tector's HP was below half, so Mulberry will get a losing bonus point out of this match. But that was a really good contest. Back and forth, neither of them really gave an inch. You know what else will be an epic contest, I hope? Our main event, which is up next. Woo! Right. In the red corner, for our gracious host, Stranger Gamer, we have got a Synthaeosaurus. And well, this is an interesting field because both our teams do have a win type. Carnotaurus Man has Ace Dino Tector and our host, Stranger Gamer, has Mega Raptor. So both teams will get terrain advantage in this match. Oof. I'm glad it's not the volcano field because in the blue corner, representing Carnotaurus Matt, we got the Super Despletosaurus. And if he had got the volcano field, he would have got a firebomb off right from the start, which would have been a lot of damage to Synthosaurus' face. Oh, this is going to be good. Well, both these two enjoy had contrasting results, Carnotaurus Man. Kind of fell away against Echo Fury in their matchup. Oh, that's a good start from the host. That's a crit. A metal wing right off the bat. And that's not the start you want if you're Carnotaurus, man. So yeah, both these teams enjoyed mixed fortunes. Our host, Stranger Game, were impressive in their first in their win against Khalid. But Carnotaurus, man, was a bit stumbly against Echo Fury. But here it comes, another hit from Synthaeosaurus, the defense burst, the elemental power. This Synthaeosaurus is going to be a health tank. This is not a good start for Carnotaurus, man. They need a hit, and they need it quick. Okay, that's a tie. A 
another tie. And another tie, and that's going to be curtains for Despletosaurus. And that is not a good start for Carnotaurus Man. Right, coming in next for Carnotaurus Man, we got Pachyrhinosaurus. This has been a dominant start from the host so far. Carnotaurus Man really needs to get a hit. Hmm. It is heroic type, this Patty Rhinosaurus, so that lightning strike will hit extra hard, but the elemental power buff and the defense boost will limit the damage. Oh, that's another hit. That's not good. This Synthiosaurus cleaning house so far. Like, Carnotaurus, man, just cannot get a hit on the board. Ah, there we go. And it's a big one. It's a crit. Big crit from Carnotaurus, man. A lightning spear coming up. Exactly what they needed. Now, I won't count them out yet because they have got the Dino Tech doing third. But yeah, look at that. Elemental power, defense boost, resilience. Packy Rhinosaurus hits so, so hard, but this Centaurosaurus is buffed up. But that's exactly what he needed. Look, oh, guess we're back to ties. Now remember, the Mega Raptor coming in next will have terrain advantage, so it will get a hit on this Pachyrhinosaurus, and that's a lightning strike. And with the heroic buff, that should be curtain for Synthiosaurus, despite the elemental power and defense burst. Right, coming in next for our hosts, we have Mega Raptor with terrain advantage. Well, this Mega Raptor was pretty dominant against Khalid, the crit block caused him all sorts of problems. And it's going to get off a crit block here because of the train advantage. But it's a good response from Carnotaurus Man. Getting rid of that Sintaosaurus quick. So let's just get this train advantage over with. Badoosh. Not too much damage done there. Mega Raptor's moves aren't the hardest hit then. But getting that crit block means that the Mega Raptor will hit, go for a rock. And gets another hit, another tie bomb. The Mega Raptor doing what it's done, what it did in the first round. But no Cyclone. That's good news for Carnotaurus Man. Oh, that's not though. That's another hit, another crit block. That really much guarantees that Packy Rhinosaurus, even if it survives, which it doesn't, is going down. Right then, coming in third for Carnotaurus Man, as you can see, we have got the Majestic, the Mighty Ace Dinotector. They're ace in the hole in this team, and they're going to need it to perform here because the Mega Raptor's looking strong. Now it will get terrain advantage, so Carnotaurus Man will get the next hit in this match. Which is going to be, well, it's not going to be a hurricane beat, but it's going to be a scissors hit. And it does have the Sonic Blast. And I think, based on this Mega Raptor's moveset, that'll definitely help Carnotaurus Man in this match. So they're not out of this yet, by a long way. And the bar will fill up as well, so this Carnotaurus, can, this Ace can do it. But it needs to get hit, and it needs them quick, because this Mega Raptor is looking really strong. You can't do anything if you don't get the hit. Okay, there's another hit. Ace striking back, Carnotaurus Man filling up that bar. And he's probably going to need Dino Tactor if he's going to win this match. Oh, there's a tie. There it is. There's the Sonic Blast. Exactly what Carnotaurus Man wants. Now that's a good counter. That's a very good counter strategy. And slowly but surely, they're coming back into this contest. Okay, the tie bomb did go off though. So they did take some damage. Ooh, Mega Raptor gets another hit. Another tie bomb come in. If Carnotaurus Man wants Sonic Blast, it's going to cost him. 
Can our host secure another bonus point victory? I think that's going to be no. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> oh, hang on. That's another hit from the Meg. It's not going to be curtains for Ace yet, but... Look at this. A tie will do it now. It's in the host's hands. And that'll do it. The tie will do it. Mega Raptor does go down, so it will not be a bonus point win for our host. But it is the win nonetheless. And Carnotaurus, man, they put up a good fight, but... Just, it was the slow start. Slow start. They had a better finish, though. But it is two out of two for our hosts in this tournament. Right, we'll have a look at our table and we can end the session. Right, that is how Group B looks, ladies and gentlemen. We have our host, Stranger Gamer, and the champ, Maastrician. Pretty dominant in this group so far, both topping it with seven points. Then we have our debutant, Echo Fury, two out of two as well on six points. We have Varga and Storm on three points. Storm getting their first win of this tournament. Varga tasting defeat. Then we have Mulberry Carnotaurus Man on those solitary bonus losing bonus points. And then poor old Khalid at the bottom with zero. Now, what I will say for Khalid is that they have had the toughest start, having to take on Maastrician and our hosts in the first two matches. So, I do feel Khalid will pick up. They'll get points. They'll get wins. There's definitely winnable games for them. And yep, that's going to end this session here, so I hope you enjoyed. You know the drill. And until next time, ta-ta! Mm -hmm.